Hello YouTube, it's Amanda Shed. In this video, I'll be showing you how to scare your friends with trypophobia. This video is the beginning of my Phobia SFX series, so if you like phobias or SFX, this may be the series for you. Now before we actually start the makeup, here's a little on trypophobia. Trypophobia, or the fear of clusters of holes, is a fairly new phobia that can be triggered by, you guessed it, clusters of holes. The holes can be from lotus pods, air bubbles, and chocolate, and on top of bar soaps, floss nests, and the list goes on. People report feeling uneasy seeing these clusters, while others with deeper fears can get panic attacks or major anxiety. Now, let's get started. I already have a base down, which is my foundation, and powdered it very well. We will be using scar wax, and scar wax does not stick to foundation very well, so powdering is very necessary. The scar wax I'm using is the Nose and Scar Wax by Ben Nye. You can use whatever scar wax you want. I got a shade close to my skin tone, which is NW2 Fair. You also want some kind of oil because scar wax is known to stick to everyone and everything. And that's why I usually, you know, use this for last. Anyway, oily surface will help the wax not stick. You can use uh, baby oil, coconut oil, whatever you want. My Fosali one is the one that happened to be right next to me. So just a couple of drops of those and massage it all over my hands and fingertips. Scoop out some of that wax with a finger or spatula and begin to roll into a worm-like shape. Do this several times. They don't have to look the same. Different shapes and sizes are actually recommended for this look. Once you have enough, go ahead and start pinching the ends together, making a circle. Once you have a circle, begin applying it to your face. I decided a good place to start is a cheek, but place it wherever you like. Make sure your fingers are still oily as you begin to press down the outer edges into your skin. You want these edges to blend in as if your skin is protruding. If you can't get these edges as thin as you want, try using the end of a small brush and be sure to put some oil on it or the scar wax will just stick to it and possibly leave your skin. Be sure to use shoving and rolling motions until your edges are seamless. You really want the wax to look like it's a part of your skin. With a little more oil on your fingers, smooth out everything and pinch your inner edges outward. You basically want to look like there's tiny volcanoes coming out of your face. Now we have to powder the volcano. I'll be using my trusty NYC Smooth Skin Loose Powder and a cosmetic sponge. The powder will take away any shine or oil left on the wax and will make the wax less sticky. For the sake of your time and my time, I'll be adding a few more holes off camera, but you get the gist. To paint the abyss part of the holes, I'll be using this Fantasy FX Body Paint by Mayron. It's a water activated paint, so it dries fast, but usually needs layering. I use a small synthetic brush to paint only where my actual skin is exposed. Protrusions usually cast a shadow, so I'll be using this Wet n Wild Contour Palette just for that. I'm sweeping the dark color all around the sides of the holes and blending outwards. To paint the inner walls, I'll actually be using this Mayron Sage Blood and applying it to the inner walls with a different small synthetic brush. The reason I'm using Sage Blood is because it doesn't completely stay on wax, meaning it will break up in some parts. It looks more realistic since it's both bloody and fleshy. 
And this guys is pretty much it. If this doesn't satisfy you like me, then add more blood running out of the holes and then add more holes to that. So, and this pretty much wraps this up, guys. If you like the video, please give it a big old thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Also, if you'd like to leave a comment or question down below, I will comment back and answer back as soon as I possibly can. Also, feel free to check out my website for more content. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and bye-bye.